And it is shocking to me that the United Nations that is supposed to defend people and protect people who fled for safety are not prepared to do that and are leaving them in danger. And I think that is an indictment of what the United Nations should be doing. And I'm embarrassed and ashamed that 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 the world organization is is behaving in this way so i think we have to put pressure on them to to do something proper for the people in camp ashraf and indeed in, in in camp liberty after three bloodbaths against defenseless residents in ashraf and later liberty the protection of the population of of liberty cannot be minimized security is not something we can afford to compromise upon there is widespread, a widespread uh, belief based on bitter and bloody experience that Martin Kobler allowing, allowed those crimes to take place. And I consequently say today, he should immediately be replaced before the reputation of the United Nations is even further uh, besmirched. According to the UN's HCR Manual on Security of Persons, if the host government, i.e. Iraq, is unable or unwilling to provide adequate security and cannot guarantee the safety and welfare of persons, it should consider the merits of relocating the camp or settlement population. Not to do so flies again directly in the face of what the UN promised and what we expect. I could go on talking about the way the United Nations has failed to act in a humanitarian way, and in fact worse than that, has uh, from most independent observers' perspective seemed to have acted in a way deliberately designed to harass, damage and destroy the spirit of the people in liberty. And that is not what the UN is supposed to be doing. We'll all agree that at this time when we're celebrating Persian New Year, and we should be remembering those in Camp Liberty. And all I can do today is wish everybody here the very best of good fortune in the coming years and particularly those who are suffering in Camp Liberty. I would also share my colleague's view about the appalling situation of colleagues and friends who struggle so hard to achieve liberty, to achieve the very minimum sorts of liberty. If they really want to go back in danger to, to Ashraf because in, in Camp Liberty where they thought they had better conditions, in fact the conditions are a great deal worse. We have from time to time raised the issue in Parliament, I and my colleagues, and we will of course continue to do so as far as their colleagues in uh, Camp Liberty and Camp Lift Ashworth are concerned. We wish you all the very, very best of good luck in the coming year in this very important time for you. So ladies and gentlemen, the situation at Camp Liberty at the moment is a Darwa and vital action is needed without delay by the United Kingdom government, the United States government, the European Union and the United Nations to ensure the saving of human lives which are at peril. After three events of massacre and genocide against the defenceless residents in Ashraf and Camp Liberty, security is a fundamental issue which needs to be addressed. You cannot and must not compromise on security, especially when it is apparent in the most recent attacks in February of this year how valuable, how vulnerable Camp Liberty is that even Mr. Kobler himself would not enter the camp to see the victims of this deadly attack in fear of his own security. Camp Liberty has become not only an open roof concentration prison, but a killing field which is far from the temporary transit station it was intended to be. If the United States were unwilling to accept such a responsibility and no other European country steps forward to take all the residents of Camp Liberty, the only alternative is the return of Camp Liberty residents to Camp Ashraf. The Americans have got to understand that this man Kobler 
in the United Nations is a farce. Kobla is not doing anything for the people in either the camp in Ashraf or the concentration camp at Liberty. Kobla is an apologist for what's going on with the Iraqi government that's running those camps. We want to see the residents of Camp Liberty um, taken back to Camp Ashraf where they can, be, they can be treated in terms of health conditions, but also they can live in greater security than they can currently in Camp Liberty. The recent events in Camp Liberty have been shocking to say the least, and many of us remain very concerned about the treatment of people in the camp. And we know that uh, these attacks are happening at the behest of the Iranian mullahs. And that's a situation we remain very concerned about. I want to see the end, the end of Camp Liberty. So let's see the end to a camp of liberty. Let's see liberty throughout the whole nation. Thank you very much for asking me.